Understand the daily routine of a claim adjuster. If anyone has tried to contact a claim adjuster, whether it is a claim in auto, homeowners, or workers' compensation, you might have found that at times, a claim adjuster can be a bit difficult to get a hold of. The reason why an insurance claim adjuster may not be as readily available as one would like is due to the amount of work and pressure that lays on the claim adjuster's shoulders. A claim adjuster in most any field of insurance has an enormous amount of claims they are responsible for. Let us say a car accident occurs and the owner of the vehicle calls in a claim to the claim adjuster. At that time, it is called the first initial point of contact made between the owner of the vehicle and the claim adjuster. This is where an auto claim adjuster would get every bit of detail concerning the accident and create a file. After the initial point of contact has been made and a file is created, then the claim adjuster must begin a claims investigation into the report. This can take days at times, due to having to get a hold of the actual crash report, any witnesses involved, and possibly having to go to the scene of the accident. In addition, the auto claim adjuster may have to come immediately to the scene to take pictures, and the claim adjuster must take an account and estimate the amount of damage that has occurred to the vehicle. If an attorney is assigned to the case, or the owner of the vehicle goes to the hospital, then those additional contacts need to be by the claim adjuster during the investigation process, and many times over the life of the claim. All the while, this may be just one claim we are using as an example, and the claim adjuster can carry a workload of well over 100 of these types of claims daily. All the claims the claim adjuster handles are very time sensitive, so the claim adjuster has to make contacts and other actions within the period set by the state the adjuster is certified in. In addition to making contacts during the investigation period and the life of the claim, there are set periods in which if any claim is settled the payment must be issued by the claim adjuster. Also, depending on what line of insurance the claim adjuster is in, there may be court hearings and mediations to attend periodically. If the insurance claim adjuster does not act in accordance with the time period set by the Department of Financial Services, then the claim adjuster can be fined and possibly cost their employer a fine. With the pressure of fines, the claim adjuster can also lose integrity among colleagues, or ultimately the claim adjuster may lose their insurance claim adjuster license altogether. With deadlines a claim adjuster must adhere to and also a daily diary to continuously review issuing payments, and attending court hearings, 
It is no wonder why a claim adjuster may not return a phone call as quickly as one would like.